The roads can be treacherous, and Russian drivers have a reputation for recklessness, which is why the country may not be the first place that comes to mind when you think of driverless cars. But experts say if you can make them work here, you can make them work anywhere. When it comes to autonomous vehicles, there are only two measures of accuracy, 0 and 100. So to achieve 100 percent, technical vision is not enough. It's also necessary to provide for conditions that aren't visible, be in fog, rain or snow, extreme conditions, and that's not possible without radar. Traditional autonomous vehicles have relied on laser technology, but bad weather can interfere with the lasers. Radio waves, on the other hand, used in radar can detect objects and people through many materials. Developers of this technology say it's close to being ready for widespread use, but given Russia's extreme weather and dangerous roads, consumers may still be a long way from going completely hands-free. Regulations also need to catch up with quickly advancing technology. The government is in the process of consulting the public on a new draft law that could allow testing of driverless cars in major cities as early as March. And while those tests would still involve a backup driver, some experts say full autonomy isn't far behind. Lawyers have already been working to solve the issues for many years. For example, the question of who would be responsible in case of an accident, all the complex questions. As soon as these problems have been solved in one city of the world, as with all innovations, in Moscow it'll be there next month, or even next week. The global market for autonomous vehicles is expected to be worth $84 billion by 2025. Internet giant Yandex and truck manufacturer Kamaz are among the Russian companies testing unmanned vehicles. And with international developers looking to try out driverless cars in colder climates, Russia could find itself a step ahead of the competition. But before autonomous vehicles become an everyday sight, there are still a few roadblocks ahead. Julia Chapman, TRT World, Moscow.